earth is such a magical place and what is best in our earth is our environment right now let's move inside our earth and see its beautiful environment environmental science is a subject that has no boundaries and it means that the amount of information present in this field is beyond our imagination so you are left with only one option and it is to gain knowledge in order to properly understand the nature environmental science deals with issues that affects an organism thousands and millions of years ago the world was full of quality and rich environment today we are suffering from so many environmental problems and most of the problems are due to human activities if you want to become an environmentalist then you should know that the very first step is not about going through textbooks definitions and mugging up the basic concepts the first step is to feel the nature to understand the environment around yourself feel the nature means first you should learn to love the nature and build the feelings that yes i'll take care of the nature i'll take care of the different plants animals birds and insects because everyone is equally important yes you can never be an environmentalist if you don't learn how to love the nature if you have a child in your home then make sure he is close to nature and teach him how to take care of the environment today we are facing so many environmental problems and mostly due to human activities but we don't understand that it affects the other organisms because most of the people are unaware of the consequences which will face in the future believe me nature is so kind that it provides us everything that we want in our day to day life for example food water clothes shelter oxygen etc environmental science is a multidisciplinary subject means it is a combination of many different subjects which together help us to reveal the secrets of nature so that we can together understand the environment easily and solve the problems we are facing today look around yourself and observe the nature see the different plants animals birds insects observe that how they live and interact with each other whether you go to a forest visit a mountain or going to a beach see what's around you everything is connected and we should not disturb or harm anything nature gives us so much but today we humans do not care and as a return gift we destroy the nature and its beauty by cutting and choking the trees by eliminating and throwing the waste here and there for fun killing the animals for entertainment and much much more the list is endless it goes on and on this is the reason why i'm saying that first build sympathy care and love for the environment feel the nature because a true environmentalist should have this quality to understand the importance of beauty of nature and life get close to the nature and learn from it it will teach you how to live life and interact with other organisms as well so interact with the nature and feel it for this i'll recommend you to first plant a tree every week try to grow the plants from a seed and it will help you to build your care and love as it grows this is also a solution to solve environmental problems and the best part is it is cheap effective and it works you'll feel happy when you'll see your plant growing and trust me nature is the best healer 
Look at these clips of the awesome animals, birds and insects which I am showing you. Just have a look around them and observe what are they doing, how they are interacting with the nature. That's the very first step if you want to learn about the environmental science. Whenever we are stressed, we try to get close to the nature, say by visiting a park, a forest or a beach, but we are addicted to it. Do you know why? Because nature cares a lot for us, and in return, we should also care for our Mother Earth. Remember, feel the nature and teach other people the same. Because God has gifted us the environment which always helps us to relax our mind, our body and it also nourishes everyone on the planet. Environment is the soul of the earth. Now I want you to have a look on these clips for a minute. and feel the nature. This is your first step to be an environmentalist. Observe the nature, observe the different plants, animals, trees, how they are interacting with each other. Have a look. Nature is so attractive, isn't it? That's why I'm introducing this course to you in which we'll learn how to interact with the nature and we'll also learn how to solve the environmental problems around us. So stay tuned. We humans are the most dominating species on earth right now and so it is our duty to protect the nature and feel it. 